Hello, bye. Uh, Papa's here once again, and today I got a minion explodey build for ya. Behind every twist and turn, there is but a gigantic raging spirit to be found equipped with Infernal Legion Support Gem and the Minion Instability Passive Node for the added killing goodness. I chose SRs of Enormity because they have a whopping 111% more life than the regular SRSs and also they always crit. With this in mind, I went to work to make use of both the initial hit doing decent amount of damage and the ignite that came after doing some work too. Once again, the MVP in this build is Lancing Steel of Spraying. In the beginning, I was using the Cyclone skill gem to proc my Raging Spirit <laughs> Spirits via my axe that has the Trigger Socket Fire spell on hit enchant. I do have some footage which I might show later on, however, since this build is not super tanky, being that up close and personal with my enemies is something I wasn't fond of. By all means, if you recreate this build, test for yourself what attack skill gem you like the best and let me know. Continuing on, never owning the Stasis Prism armor before, and finally getting my hands on it for six divines a few weeks back, don't buy it at that price, I decided to try to go the recoup route on this build, and I must say that I'm a huge fan. Sure, once in a while I still get one-shotted here and there, and rarely shotgunned to death, but overall it works like a charm. Through the armor, ring, few jewels, and passive tree, I have 169 life recoup. Nice. And I also got myself the recoup mastery, which makes it so that instead of recouping all that life lost in 4 seconds, it's in fact just in 3. I also went for max block once again, which is amazing, and to get some physical damage reduction, I have the chaos, golem, and arctic armor. I'm using the Ashes of the Stars amulet mainly for damage, but the quality it gives to my other skill gems is nice as well. Prior to using it though, I was using the Tavukai amulet because I wanted the Raging Spirits to explode and do damage ASAP. With that amulet and minus resistance to minions explicit modifiers on rings, you can make them die and explode pretty dang near instantaneously. With all that said, this was when I was still using the Cyclone Skill Gem as my applicator. Once I switched to Lancing Steel, I did the opposite. I started taking the things that killed my Raging Spirits faster away to make them cling on to life long enough for them to reach their intended targets, but not so much so that I would be summoning more than 6 at a time and not proccing the minion instability. Because for SRS of Enormity, the max you can have out at a time is indeed 6. It's a very delicate balance you have to achieve, so pay attention and do some testing of your own. Another important gear piece is the Replica Siege Breaker Heavy Belt, which enables minions to spread burning ground on death, which acts similar-ish to Ignite Proliferate Gem, but for clearing maps, I chose to still use the gem because the Ignite Proliferation felt just too dang satisfying. On very tough bosses, however, I swapped that gem out for crit multi-support gem to do more hit-based damage. On most of my jewels, I have life, life recoup, minion life, and or minion damage. The rest are either attributes allowing me to wield my equipment or cap out my resistances. Important note, you may have noticed on prolonged fights my energy shield slowly drains out, but the recovery is just good enough for me not needing to tweak it further. If yours does not replenish fast enough in whatever content you are running, you'll have to play around with either getting more energy shield on your gear, using the discipline aura, getting some sort of uh, energy shield gain on hit, and or getting increased energy shield recovery rate such as I have on my helm and gloves. I think going purely hit based is a mistake because we lose a ton of dot damage. However, the opposite isn't the case. This could have been purely dot damage based build, but I just felt like playing a bit more of an active playstyle and try to hit my enemies, especially bosses, as much as possible to utilize that hit based damage. I tested these jewels myself and liked them a lot, but ultimately chose not to use them the Blood Notch and Immutable Force Jewels. This would push my recoup to over 200 on stunning hits. Something else to consider 
is maybe the replica Dragon Fang's flight amulet and the Amanamanamau <laughs> Gaze Jewel for more minion life and dot damage respectively. This Valen Shield would help cap our blocks super easily, but our damage would be about one third of what it is, and I think that is just too much of a sacrifice for that extra tankiness. Lastly, an alternative gear piece that would provide nice quality of life in terms of defenses is the Defiance of Destiny amulet. I think that it's a solid, very solid choice actually. Again, I was greedy for damage so I did not choose to use it, but if running very hard content is your thing, then definitely go for it. Here's a bit of the Cyclone footage. It definitely feels smooth to play, maybe even more so than Lancing Steel, but when you have to cuddle up to the big old monster that smacks very hard with its gigantic axe, it's uh, not super pleasant. So, yeah, play at your own risk, my friends. This right here is me testing and showing off the different setups with the minus maximum resistances on uh, my minions as well as the Tavukai amulet to showcase how long the summon raging spirits live for. Again, do your own testing depending on what kind of setup you're looking for. Are you looking for them to explode immediately or do you want to give them about two to three seconds to live? Maybe if you get some more uh, minion movement speed, you can make them last and go very far distance stuff. Play around. Oh, uh, don't mind me. This is uh, my AG, Animate Guardian, as they say. First map testing, 200,000 life, 75, yes, I made sure that it had 75 all res, uh, dead in 1.3 seconds. Nice. That's amazing. Hey, you gotta tell, you know what? I'm not perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. Here, I'm actually testing the perfect agony to see if it works because the minions always crit so I don't know if somehow there would be some sort of loophole where we could use the perfect agony for our minions to then deal more damage or turn this build basically into a huge dot build only alas no nay nay zip zilch nada so because of copyright infringement I actually had to delete the song that was right here my god it was a the perfect song for this segment but long story short this is me just testing out the different setups mainly the same exact gear equipment besides a few changes but the main thing was to see the differences in the gems so make of this what you will if you have any questions let me know <laughs> all right that's about it for this video thanks for watching i'll see you next time with another beautiful build